there's a sneaky little creepy little fly on the wall. Ay ay ay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't mind me. Just trying to record a blog. I've been getting a lot of calls recently. 22 minutes. 25 minutes. An hour and four minutes. Who has been calling me so much? I'm not going to tell you. Yet. Maybe never at all. We'll have to see. So, what have we missed? The big thing that happened in 2013 was that it was approaching the 10th anniversary of The Clown. I got together all the raw footage and put image stabilization on it. I put a brand new score created by the film's lead actress, Katie Heap, who is happy, gracious, kind enough to lend me the permission to use it. So, uh, uh, look! As I was saying... Oh, that fly interrupted my train of thought. So, I've been joined by Kaiser now. I guess in the months that have passed, you don't know about Kaiser. Well, Kaiser's my new German Shepherd. Um, and we're the best of friends. So the big thing of 2013 was getting the clown ready and making it all my own entity, all me, and it was all Katie, and it was something that I could present anywhere. I expressed my interest to Carrie, basically booked this ward party they invited patients and ex-patients and friends and family and she booked it at a cinema in Leeds, the Hyde Park Picture House and sh she said that before we watched a film that I could premiere The Clown and so on December the 23rd, 2013, 10 years after its first premiere it made its <laughs> cinema debut. It was actually projected onto a cinema that's a hundred years old, a hundred years old, and my film has been shown on the, a screen that has seen a hundred years of history. So that was the big thing that happened in 2013. But you know what else happened in 2013? I went on my first holiday in 12 years. And I went on a cruise with my grandma and my dad, travelled down on a coach in May and we got all the way to Southampton and we boarded the Oriana cruise ship and we set sail, it was a two day sail to Stavanger in Norway and I kind of took charge of where we were going to go I, I looked it up online a week before we set off and I uh, found this chocolate shop and all three of us went and had tea and I had hot chocolate and it was the best hot chocolate. You don't even understand how good this hot chocolate is. A really good tip is to Search the hashtag Sajokolata. I'm trying to speak Norwegian. It's very hard when you're doing that. Come here. Right. Search the ha hashtag. <laughs> oh my god, I've never said hashtag in a video before. Search the hashtag Sajokolata pin. 
something. And you'll see how beautiful this street is that the chocolate shop is on and what the beautiful chocolates that they sell. I wish I'd have bought more. And the best thing was after we went there, my dad and my grandma, they let me wander the city of Stavanger on my own. Okay, so on the second day, we went to Garanga, and that is such a small fjord that the cruise ship has nowhere to dock, so it just kind of parks, and you have to get on a another smaller boat to get to land. And I took a nice leisurely relaxed walk up this hill to the top of a waterfall on my own. And again, there was a hot chocolate shop at the bottom. And so I was drinking hot chocolate and reading Gay Times in Norway. And it was just a beautiful cloudy day. It's just, I can, I, I can, I've just got such happy memories of that day. And I haven't even mentioned how great the cruise ship was. I ate so well. Everybody, my dad and my grandma had never seen me eat so much. I just enjoyed it so much. I cannot wait to do another cruise. It was an adults only cruise, so no offence Leo and Dylan, you know, but we will, uh, our time will come and that time will be Disneyland Paris. So the third day we went to Alden and we'd booked a, an excursion which was a coach trip around the fjord. I actually have some video footage from that. So Jostedals Glacier is the largest glacier on the European mainland. 500 uh, square kilometer and the ice can be about 600 meters deep. And then on the last day we went to Bergen which is the second most populated city in Norway and that was unfortunately an unseasonably sunny, warm day. You have to remember this was May the 6th. So I'd come prepared and I was, I didn't let that put me off and I went to, I went into a, a CD, there's like the um, Norwegian version of HMV. Um, I was looking for an, the Aqua album, um, but they didn't release it outside of Denmark. And so that was a, an unfortunate thing, but it was just fun to look around, exploring another city on my own. It's something that I, I couldn't have ever imagined doing, like six years ago. And it shows how much I've changed. I'm really happy. I'm really happy. You don't have any idea how happy with myself I am. And I want to share that with someone. Time's right. This is the year. This is what's going to do happen this year. I'm gonna. I'm gonna find someone this year. Someone that's gonna have to accept that big look of a dog. Comes first. <laughs> Oh, I went to the Edward Munch exhibition in Bergen. That was really rewarding. Uh, my dad came round with me, but my grandma, by that time, she'd grown quite tired. She was 92 years old. She's 94 years old now. So she's moving into an apartment in as part of a residential home this year. And she's, she's moving out of a home that she's lived in for 50 years. So that's a big deal. I'm going to help her and visit her a lot more often. Because it, it, made, it made me very 
thankful that all the holidays I've had abroad have been with my grandma and um, she's like just so sharp still it's unbelievable I'm so thankful to have somebody in my life like that so that was that was what happened in 2013 so in 2014 everything has kind of been going steady until April and I got a puncture in my Hickman line so I had to have a repair and this was the second repair this Hickman line had had. I'd been in my body for almost nine years and after this time I was like that's it. It's time to take it out. And so I got myself all psyched up to go under the knife as it happened. They took out my line and it was a quick two minute job and I healed for a month. So that is where my line used to be. And a month after they brought me back in I'm always in hospital, but I got up very early. I was the first on the operating table, and I was in. I was there for forty minutes this time, and they fitted a port cath, and this is my first port cath ever. So it just sits there, and they puncture the skin with a needle, and it saves them having to go in my arms. So that's the only big thing that's happened this year. I'm sure I will be back, but as for when and with what news, we'll have to wait and find out. Goodbye. I'm gonna go kill that fly.